again, my name is Gabe Zollner. This is the 24th of January, 2019. Article on the Hill. Air travel union leaders warn of unprecedented safety risks as shutdown continues. Written by Avery Anapol, A-N-A-P-O-L, published on January the 23rd, 2019. Air travel union leaders on Wednesday released a dire warning about the government's shutdown's effect on air travel. In a joint statement, the heads of the National Air Traffic Controllers Association, the Airline Pilots Association, and the Association of Flight Attendants, CWA, wrote of their growing concerns for the safety and security of our members, our airlines, and the traveling public. In our risk-averse industry, we cannot even calculate the level of risk currently at play, nor predict the point at which the entire system will break, they wrote. It is unprecedented. The statement comes on the 33rd day of the partial government shutdown, which has lasted longer than any other shutdown in U.S. history. About 800,000 federal workers have been furloughed or are working without pay during the shutdown as they are considered essential employees. TSA agents and air traffic controllers are among those considered essential personnel. TSA callouts reached a record high of 10% on Sunday, with many reporting financial limitations. A number of airports have also forced to close security checkpoints due to lack of staffing. The union leader's statement said staffing in air traffic control facilities is at a 30-year low, writing that many controllers are working overtime six days a week. They noted that because of the Federal Aviation Administration has frozen hiring, they are able to work toward meeting their staffing needs. The letter warns that if current controllers who are eligible decide to retire because they are no longer paid, the system will be crippled. As union leaders, we find it unconscionable that aviation professionals are being asked to work without pay and in an air safety environment that is deteriorating by the day. To avoid disruptions to our aviation system, we urge Congress and the White House to take all necessary steps to end the shutdown immediately. The House has passed several bills to reopen the government, but Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has said that the Senate will not take up a bill that is not supported by the White House and has continued to reject the measures. President Trump has stood by his demands for $5.7 billion in funding for his proposed U.S.-Mexico border wall and is urging Democrats to support his latest proposal, which includes wall funding and protection for some immigrants. Democrats have said they will not pass any legislation that includes such funding for a border wall. The Senate is set to hold votes Thursday on two dueling proposals to reopen the government. This is completely, totally insane. How many times did Trump say that Mexico is going to pay for the wall? Huh? How many times did he say that? How many times did he say that Hillary needs to go to jail? Huh? How many times did he say he's going to drain the swamp? Well, have any of those things happened? No. Not a single one of them has happened. What has happened is the government's been shut down. What has happened is Nancy Pelosi, who's completely brain dead, is third in line for the Oval Office. What has happened is our government has been totally decimated. This is unprecedented. The American people's lives are at risk. Trump better get off his ass and do something. I told you, and I told him in countless videos, he needs to expose Barack Hussein Obama for having been a usurper. The Democratic Party will be completely destroyed. Absolutely insane. I'll attach the link. You let me know what you think. You yeah, sure as hell know what I think. Absolutely insane. You might want to repost this in your social media accounts. You might want to pass along to your like-minded friends. Ask them to do the same.
No point sending a copy to Trump. He knows what he hasn't done. He knows what needs to be done. He needs to get off of his ass.